think a lot of women feel like they might be, you know, handling stress well or they may not be handling stress the, the best way that they can. I think it's important that women have different coping skills, but at the end of the day, without having a sense of self-care and a sense of self-worth and self-love, you're not going to really use those coping skills that, you know, you've instilled in you. Yes, you can go for a run and feel less stressed, but at the end of the day, you know, on your run, were you thinking about what am I going to do next to feed the kids? Where, where do they have to go? What's on my list of things to do for work? So you're, you're not in like a mindful place even when you're doing these healthy coping skills your 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 mind is wandering constantly and so I think it's really important for women to understand what self-care really is mm -hmm. and that in order to have a true sense of self-care you have to have a sense of self-love because if you're like you said taking care of other people mm -hmm. and re-giving and giving and giving and not replenishing yourself then you're letting people know that you don't truly love yourself and appreciate yourself and therefore you're not really taking care of yourself and so I think it's really important important that when you think about stress it's also about your self-worth and how you're taking care of yourself and how you're letting people know that this is how I take care of myself and I, I want to be treated in a certain way because I feel like I'm worth taking care of myself and I'm not just going to continue to give and give without feeling replenished um, in all aspects of life so I'm really excited to to kind of give women not just, like I said, the coping skills, but the right kind of emotional, mental tools to carry on with them after they leave our workshop.